Hey YouTube friends, welcome back to another video. I'm so sorry it's been a couple of weeks. Um, I promise I'm going to continue to upload, just bear with me. I feel like these summer months have been a little bit busy, uh, but we will keep cracking on and we'll continue to post. So this is just like some of my afternoon activities when I get home from work that we're going to be walking through. Um, I'm also going to be talking about my motivation for starting this channel. Um, and then at the end we have a pickle recipe. So let's just get straight into it. Um, before you saw me checking the soil for moisture, you just like stick your finger in the soil a few inches away from your plants and if your finger comes up clean, um, you know you have to water. So we definitely had to water. So I dragged out our hose. We don't have any drip irrigation or anything like that yet, but it's fine. Our garden isn't so big that, you know, dragging out a hose and hand watering is really not a big deal. Um, so for my flowers, I just put down some organic flower tone fertilizer, um, or at least the rest of what I had. And I think I didn't have that much left. Um, but anyway, put that down, watering it in. So this year's cut flower garden has had some successes, has had some failures. I'll probably make a whole video about that. Um, you know, I, I had some higher hopes for it, but it's all, you know, a learning experience and things to um, remember for next year. So it's definitely not a loss. Um, so yeah, let's, let's chat a little bit about my motivation, you know, for starting this channel. Um, I guess kind of far back as I can remember, I've always loved watching YouTube and I've always thought, wow, like wouldn't it be so cool to be filming like your life or whatever certain topics that you like, anything like that and, you know, earning a living from it and gaining a following from it. And that's not to say that the only reason why I'm like doing this is for money because you obviously have to have an interest in the filming aspect and the editing. Otherwise, it'll just completely fall off the tracks. Um, so I, I've just always had it in the back of my mind as something that I think would be really cool to do and something that if I did succeed at, I'd, I'd really like it. Um, but obviously in high school, as you know, I feel like most of us are just a little bit too... Um, embarrassed or shy to ever do anything like that the fear of like someone seeing it online I just never got into it I think I had posted a couple videos um and they're probably all on private right now um it wasn't really anything fun it was just about my knee surgeries and stuff um and then once I got to college I was just too busy I was um studying chemical engineering definitely didn't have time to be uh, filming and editing videos. So, um, yeah, I guess I've been out of college for the last couple of years and I've gotten really interested in like health, wellness, um, and the homesteader community. And that's just been exploding. Um, and for the last couple of years, I've just loved watching people like Simple Living Alaska, um, Farmhouse on Boone, and when my parents said that they were, you know, buying 110 acres, I, figured, well, I mean, what better time than now? We're going to be doing so many things, so many things for the first time, which I feel like is really helpful for some other people. Um, you know, what, what is it like as first time, you know, chicken owners and first time gardeners. And I feel like we've touched on that in a couple of videos. And like I said, I'm going to do a whole video on pros and cons and things I would do differently and all that stuff. Um, for the first year of gardening and then like rolling it into the next year what am I going to do differently um and so I just feel like there's no shortage of topics and so I decided I'm just gonna go for it and so I just want to encourage all of you who have this you know idea of well what if I did this I don't know what your what if is I mean I also have a what if I do what if I become a flower farmer because that would be fun I mean I have gotten really interested in watching Florette. Um, if you don't know her, you should go look her up. She grows beautiful flowers and she's just made such a successful business for herself. And it's not the success of the business that really like intrigues me. It's just that like she's doing 
exactly what she loves to do and she's become successful in it and I feel like if you um, go for something that you're really passionate about you're way more likely to be successful when I first started this channel I I, I didn't know how it was gonna go in the back of your mind is always like "Ooh, what if this really takes off but then I feel like in the forefront it's like wow I have five subscribers and every time you gain one it's exciting but then you look at your total and you're like I still have 18 subscribers and then you look at the statistics of who makes it on YouTube and it's like I think less than 10 percent but it might even be smaller than that of people on YouTube have the stats to get them to like monetization which I mean let's be real I think a lot of people see YouTube not just as a platform to like post their stuff but also the opportunity for making money is there so I mean everyone wants to get to that monetization status um so here we are I don't know like 20 long form videos in I want to say and I have 250 subscribers and honestly like if you told me a few months ago that I'd eventually get to 250 I just didn't know how it would go and I feel like I'd be like really so I'm just really thankful that I went for it and you know I might not be uploading every week right now but that's always the goal for me I've just been a little bit busy but I don't ever want to stop posting because I know if you just keep going then you can succeed and so yeah I guess I didn't mean for that to be like a pep talk but um definitely go and and go out on a limb and do what you are interested in or you know it a side hustle you know just take some time that you would be sitting and watching Netflix or even YouTube or whatever and dedicate it to the dream that you have and maybe one day it'll become a reality so anyway <laughs> we are making pickles I will link the whole recipe below since obviously I'm not talking you through it um, but I just combined salt sugar water put it on the stovetop until everything dissolved put it into a bowl and then mixed in some cold water and pop that in the fridge and while that's in the fridge and cooling I'm just chopping up my cucumbers I also decided to um, chop the green beans and pickle those as well because I mean we have like six or seven green bean plants so although I feel I mean they're productive for like six or seven plants we're not getting so many green beans that we're having them as a side for dinner every night so I just decided a good use of them might be to pickle them so pickle whatever you want cucumbers peppers beans whatever um this is a dill pickle recipe and I feel like it came out a little bit salty, but re-watching this, that's definitely my fault because I I just, I usually eyeball things um, and I would just encourage you to um, really stick to the measurements of the recipe here. So to wrap up, I don't want to just thank you for watching, but thank you for those of you who have subscribed. When you subscribe, you're really, you know, encouraging me to continue to film and produce content. So I just want to say thank you. Um, and please leave in the comments below if there are any topics that you particularly want to see. Do you want to see another sourdough video? I haven't posted one in a little bit. Um, let me know if you make these pickles um, or just you know feel free to shout out any encouragement or ask any questions um, so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video